uploading your lay summary in three easy steps. Step one, once reviewed by your vetting professional outside the Collaborative Library website, or not, if you're a professional contributor, you can upload your amazing lay summary by clicking on the three dots menu here, and then select the lay summary upload or the rocket icon. Step two, read the author guidance which you can find here to get an overview of what content you can upload and watch the mandatory what permissions do I need to upload my lay summary video. You might also want to view the other videos on the how does it work page to help supercharge your lay summary creation. Step 3. After watching the permissions video to check you've the right permissions to upload it to the platform, tick the box below to say that you've done this. Have all the relevant information of your lay summary ready to go. Maybe have a glance at the upload form beforehand. What format of the summary are you uploading? You can upload either one or all of the following formats. Video, audio, infographic or written. If you're uploading a video, it needs to be formatted as MP4. Ideally with codec H.264 and audio codec AAC which is the preferred format for YouTube. If you're using DaVinci Resolve or similar video software, usually you can find this using the export function for YouTube. Include a catchy title that tells your audience what type of lay summary it is at the end. So for example, creating false memories, colon, video lay summary. Simple as that. Upload the different lay summary formats below this that you want your audience to access. So it's worth knowing that having different formats, including written and video, will likely mean that your lay summary will be easier to find in a Google search or similar. As you can see, you can either use the text box and or Word or PDF document upload for written lay summaries too. The advantage of the text box is that it's easy to see. Advantages of the Word or PDF written lay summary upload are that it's easy for people to download and you can include images. Now add the author of the lay summary here. So if that's you, great. If there's more than one person, please be aware that it's only you, the first author, that will bag the awards. But it's important to credit others who've contributed using the plus button here. You can include a maximum of four other authors. If you need to add more than this, you could always list them in the fifth box. Next, you need to select on the drop-down menu below which participating organisation you, the main author, are affiliated with. If it's not yet listed here, then unfortunately you can't upload a summary at this time, but fret not. Why not send your organisation's research and development or engagement leads a pre-prepared email from here, which you can tweak and send on requesting that they join the Collaborative Library so you can contribute. On the other hand, your organisation might well be signed up, which is great. In which case, go straight ahead and add your vetting professional below, who also need to have their organisation signed up. Tell us what science area subject category your lay summary falls into. You'll notice that there's a broad range of categories and more specific subcategories that fall within each. If you can't find what you're looking for, just let us know and for now, select the uncategorised option. Then add a maximum of five keywords that you think the lay audience you're trying to reach might use to find your summary on Google searches or similar, followed by those for an expert audience, which you could easily take from the original ePrint. The next field invites you to put in the web links for other lay summaries on the collaborative library that are related to yours. So this could be your own or other people's summaries of the same or similar topics. This is really to help your audience get a better sense of the body of evidence for a given area of research. This is limited to a maximum of five videos at this time. Tell us what license permissions the original ePrint is using the drop down menu here. Remember, this can be either a preprint, postprint, or published article. If you're unsure, just ensure that you rewatch the video on permissions above. Then you've got a drop down menu asking that you select the correct license for your lay summary. In most cases, this will be the CCBYNC4 license, unless the original ePrint had a CCBYSA4 license applied, in which case, please also choose the CCBYSA4 to honor the author's wishes. Now, if your lay summary is based on a preprint or postprint rather than a published article, 
you can optionally add the web link to either of these boxes here. This could be a university repository or an open science preprint service or similar. However, you'll need to provide the digital object identifier or DOI for the published version of this work to give confidence to your audience that it has later gone through the peer review process. Next up, you can add any other open access web links that would be helpful, such as data on repositories like fairsharing.org. Below this, you can also provide a maximum of five web links to let your audience know if some of the ideas in the summary have been applied in real life settings. So for example, a web link to an NHS service web page that details the use of a particular intervention related to the research that you're talking about. Below are the details of the peer review published article. Within the article, you can look back to see if there was any conflict of interest reported and provide a brief description of these conflicts here. Otherwise say, no conflict of interest reported. Okay, you're almost there. Tell us which language the published article is written in and importantly, the type of article in terms of the methods used using the drop down here. Again, if you can't see the category that fits with the study, you can choose the other option and we'll look into this later on and maybe add a standard category going forwards. If you go to the glossary at the bottom of each page, you'll also come across the optional corresponding lay summarized quality assessment checklists for some of the studies that you have listed here. We encourage you to do a completed checklist using the questions by deleting the tick, cross or question mark icons to fit with your answers and then you can upload this here. Please don't add your own subtitles in your video or audio content before you upload it to avoid doubling up. We will add these for you when we've uploaded it to our YouTube channel to improve the search engine optimization or SEO. So this means that others can more easily find your lay summary when searching Google or similar. This is one of the reasons why it would be really helpful to have a written transcript of your video or audio summary so we can then easily cross check it with what YouTube thinks you've said in your video in the auto subtitles. There you have it, uploading your lay summary to the collaborative library in a nutshell. It's now time to press submit. If you run into any difficulties with any of this process, please ping us a quick email at hello at the collaborative library.com. Happy uploading.